Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Dentistified. In today's video, I'll talk about the clinical relevance of uh, the concept of platform switching in dental implants. So the success of dental implants is highly dependent on the integration between the implant and intraoral hard and soft tissues. So the crystal bone preservation is a very important key to the success in implant dentistry and platform switching configuration in which a smaller diameter abutment is used over a larger diameter implant platform helps to limit the crystal bone resorption. To some extent, I've talked in detail about the concept of platform switching in my previous video. Link for that video will be provided in the description box below for you in case you missed out that video. But for now, if you want to gain some knowledge about the clinical benefits of uh, platform switching in dental implants, then you must continue watching this video. Platform switching has various clinical benefits. Platform switching provides increased biomechanical support. So wherever the anatomic structures such as the sinus cavity or the nasal floor, incisive canal or alveolar nerve limit the residual bone height, in such cases, the platform switching can be used because platform switching minimizes the bone resorption and increases the biomechanical support available to the implant. Next is that platform switching provides improved aesthetics and the health of implant supported restorations. So maintenance of hard and soft tissues around the dental implants is of prime concern in order to achieve acceptable aesthetics. Now, as I've already told you in my previous videos that the position of crystal bone greatly influences the position of soft tissues. That means resorption of marginal bone adversely affects the gingival contours, resulting in loss of interproximal papilla, which may further result in problems like food lodgement or there can be aesthetic deficiencies and even the phonetic problems. But when platform switching is used in dental implants, this helps to retain the peri-implant crystal bone levels, thus providing better support for soft tissues. And when better support for soft tissues is provided, this helps to avoid the cosmetic deformities or phonetic problems or even food impaction. Now this is extremely important in case of anterior restorations where aesthetics is of prime concern. Because in these cases maintenance of peri-implant crystal bone determines the gingival aesthetics and health of implant supported restorations. Now next is that platform switching allows the implant placement in cases where mesiodistal space is limited. So when two implants are placed too close to one another, that is where inter-implant distance is less than 3 mm, the inter-implant bone height resorbs more. That means more resorption occurs in order to compensate for the biologic width. Now I've explained this in detail in one of my previous videos on factors influencing marginal bone loss. Links will be provided for that video in the description box below. But platform switching makes it possible to place the implants at a closer proximity to other implants and to natural teeth while still preserving the adjacent bone levels. So this allows for a better functional and aesthetic results in case where mesiodistal space is limited. So this is the clinical advantage of platform switching concept in dental implants. Next clinical benefit of platform switching is that it provides improved bone support for short implants. Now bone remodeling is minimized around the platform switched implants. Therefore, there is greater bone implant contact for shorter implants, hence providing better bone support for short implants. So I'll just conclude by stating the clear indications of platform switching. 
Platform switching can be used in case of anterior aesthetic zone. It is also indicated where limited mesiodistal space is present. And it can also be used where anatomic structures like sinus cavity, nasal floor, incisive canal or even alveolar nerve limit the residual bone height. Platform switching is also indicated where short implants are to be used and even in atrophic areas. And platform switching can also be used where a wider diameter implant is required but the prosthetic space is limited. So yeah, that is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. An appropriate understanding and the use of platform switching concept in routine treatment improves the crystal bone preservation and also provides controlled biologic space repositioning. It appears to be a promising tool in preserving the peri-implant bone levels. So yeah, a lot more informative videos are on way. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Stay tuned for that. If you like this video then do hit that like button and share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel Dentistified if you haven't already. And if you don't want to miss out any of my videos in future, do press that bell icon which is next to the subscribe button so that you will get notified each time I upload a new video. I'll see you very soon in my next one.